what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um in yesterday's video you guys um i showed you how to how to package up a sales funnel and i kind of went over why i just give them away for free right you can there, there's a few different options you can give them away for free you can build funnels and sell them to people um, which is an amazing opportunity um it's just not part of my business model so i don't i don't really care to sell it to people um and then you can also place that funnel in the marketplace here in Kartra and get thousands of people inside of the Kartra community to, to be exposed and want to buy your funnels. So it's pretty cool, just a few different options that you can do it. But what I'm going to show you in this video is simply how I share it and how that person imports it into their account. Okay, so I'm going to actually do it for them um, just so I can, and, and that's why, you know, I want to show you guys how I do it. And the whole, the whole thing my whole thing again why i give them away is because i i i don't just give them away to, to to anyone and everyone which i easily can like what i'll do is i'll um you know i'll put these i'll put these 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 share codes in the description here um but that's not really what, what i care to do either what i really do is i get my clients on them so i i build these funnels for my clients and that's why um what i always do is i'll have i'll have just a handful of funnels on deck and that sharing me just giving it to them justifies what I charge them up front and and justifies what I charge them monthly because what I end up doing is I end up bringing on a social media client and not only am I am I you know managing their social media to a certain extent but mainly running Facebook ads but what I also package up in there is these funnels and the ability to manage them for them every month. So what I end up doing is I end up bringing them on as a social media client. I'm optimizing their social media. I'm running their Facebook ads and I'm managing their Karcher account. Okay. Now, again, I don't have hundreds of clients that I'm doing this for just the handful that I'm able to bring on. Um, it's easy and it's fun. And this is what I do. This is my business model, um, running Facebook ads, running Instagram ads and building their funnels. Um, and managing their funnels and making sure that leads are coming in from these funnels. And so what I do, and that's why, you know, I have many conversations. I do many strategy calls, as you guys know, um, I have them up here on, on YouTube and I have a lot of, a lot of freelancers and, and digital agencies reach out to me to kind of, you know, get my advice and get tips on how they can get clients and, and, and build their business, their agency. And what I tell people all the time, I'm like, dude, stick to one niche. Like, it's so, so much more easier when you can already have a, a cookie cutter blueprint for each client, for each new client that comes aboard. Um, you don't want to have to put together like a Facebook ad campaign or in, in this case, a sales funnel for a restaurant. And then next month you go out there and get a freaking landscaper. And then the following month you go out there and get a chiropractor. And then the following month, you know what I mean? Like you want to stick to one because that, that allows you number one to get really good at the Facebook advertising side of it all. And, and just be able to just copy and paste the next campaign like you already know what works you already know you know the, the the targeting the the demographics the type of ad objective it allows you to take the same blueprint and just duplicate it duplicate it duplicate it and do the same damn thing for the next client that's on the facebook ad side and then on the sales funnel side it allows me to, to it allows me to have these same funnels and just clone them and just duplicate 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 as i bring on more clients and so that's what i do i literally spent I don't know, let's just call it a few hours and I put together a handful of funnels. And all I do with these funnels is I keep giving, giving them to my clients. Um, and again, that justifies my upfront fee and it justifies my monthly fee because not only am I managing their social media, not only am I running their Facebook ads, but I'm also making it important and, 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 and justifying why they need landing pages and the fact that I'm going to even manage them for them. Right? So I put these these funnels together one time and I just keep sharing them, sharing them, sharing them, sharing them, sharing them and, and giving them to each new client I bring aboard. And that right there is hardcore value. And you can do that with any niche, any client, any industry, any business, whatever you're doing. Again, if you're a freelancer or if you're some type of digital agency and you're going after clients, the paid advertising, that's one thing. But on the back end, they're going to need funnels. So 
I love Kartra because it allows me to package all this stuff up. Um, I use Kartra for my email autoresponder, my landing pages, I mean, my, my membership course, my calendar, but even, even if you're just speaking on just basic, basic tools that are needed to run paid advertising and to start capturing leads online, it's your email autoresponder and your landing pages. So that right there, you guys, if you could package up a handful of funnels um, and then just have them on deck and just as you bring on new clients, add that to the actual package and say, hey, man, not only am I going to manage your social media, not only, not only am I going to run Facebook ads, but I'm going to also, I already have all these done for you funnels that fit your business that are already ready. And, and, and all I got to do is press a button, transfer them over to your account, and we can start running conversion ads to start capturing leads right away. That right there is powerful, you guys. And so um, not only am I, am I justifying the actual fee that I'm charging them, as I mentioned, but I'm also getting them on as a Kartra new account under my affiliate link. So then I make the affiliate commission on that as well, which is 40% of their monthly, you know, Kartra account, um, which is about a hundred bucks a month. So each new client, I make them bring on their own, I make them set up their own Kartra account. And then once I, I, um, once they do that, I have them reply back to my email with their login, all login, and transfer all these all these funnels to them. And then and then once they have like all these funnels, they're like, "Damn, dude, that's freaking amazing! I'm ready, right?" And again, it justifies it justifies what I am you know charging them, which 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 is amazing. So here's how I'm gonna do it, you guys. These are these are a handful of funnels that I already have, and I have it categorized in shared funnels. So I'm right here in my pages. Um, I created a category right here, shared funnels, and these are all different funnels that I have for my niche. Um, and it's not a whole lot. It's actually five funnels. Um, one is, is for a buyer guide. So a real estate agent, if they're running Facebook ads and they're, and they're promoting um, some type of free download, a buyer guide, this funnel right here is, is designed for that. Um, this funnel right here is designed for an open house. So if a real estate agent has an open house coming up and they want to run Facebook ads to promote that open house, drive them to a funnel. Um, in fact, let me show you what it looks like. This right here is the actual finished product. And in the actual, um, and again, that was yesterday's video. So I'm not going to spend too much time on, on, on this one showing you the details. Watch yesterday's video. And if you haven't watched yesterday, yesterday's video, just stay to the end. Um, you'll see it come up at the bottom. And also, I'll provide the link in the description. You can watch that video because that's how I, I'm showing you how I packaged all this up, the, the email list, the sequence. So it's not that I'm just giving them just a landing page, right? Here's the landing page. They come over here. They click. They opt in, right? Not only am I giving them the landing page, but I'm also giving them the thank you page. As they opt in and that lead enters their name and email, click here to RSVP, they end up going to another page, which is what we call a thank you page. So not only am I including the landing page, but I'm including the thank you page. I'm including the list. Once that person opts in, they're now on a list. I'm also including the sequence. Once that person opts in, they're on a list and they're on an email sequence, which is your email autoresponder. So I have a handful of emails that are already pre-written that I wrote, which is the email autoresponder. That's the sequence. I'm also including that. Um, I'm also including the forms that they fill in. This right here is a form. So um, that's included. I'm also including the calendar. So I packaged all that stuff up, you guys. And again, you couldn't do that in ClickFunnels. You can share a funnel and that's about it. A funnel is really a freaking landing page and a thank you page. That's it. Um, but in this, I'm packaging up everything, dude. The list, the sequence, the calendar, the freaking thank you page, like all that. I can even include um, um, a freaking... Um, I, there's so many more th tags, like I can in include so many other things, but the basics is what I packaged up. And again, that link is in the description. Um, if you want to learn how to package all this stuff up and give it to your clients or sell it to people, that link is, is in the description or that video will come up. So I just have a handful, right? The open house. Um, another one is for a listing. So if, if a real estate agent is, is looking to sell a property, um, 
they can they can simply run Facebook ads and drive them straight and all this stuff you can edit right so all I'm doing is giving them the template I'm giving them the blueprint and once they import this into their account they can obviously change everything they can change the wording they can change the image the colors all that stuff can be changed but at least it's already done for them right it's super super simple to edit all this stuff um, and it's already done for them so in the description also if you're a real estate agent all include the share codes. All you got to do is set up your 14-day trial. Profit with Kartra.online. So set up your 14-day trial, and then you're going to have all these share codes that you're going to import. And I'm going to show you how I do it right now. Um, and again, no matter what business you're in, man, driving traffic to a landing page is what you better be doing in 2020. If you're not doing that, you're not doing it. Um, so again, as an agency owner, as someone that, that is going out there and getting clients, this is part of my of my of my business and this is how i how i get clients um i simply you know get them onto these different funnels and not only am i making money from them you know paying me you know for my worth but i'm also making that monthly residual income as an affiliate through kartra okay and so i have you know these other funnels and and they're all ready to go so here's what i'm going to do let's go to um let's go to my campaigns so i'm going to come over here so this is my account right here right so i'm going to come to my campaigns and then um these are the five funnels that i have so buyer guide open house seller seller guide listing funnel buyer listing funnel okay so here's what i'll do and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna walk you through every single one because every single one is the same so let's just include let's go ahead and just do um Let's do the listing funnel right now. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm logged in to the, my, my client's account, which is this over here. So I'm logged into her account over here, okay? So when you set up this, so this is how you're gonna do it. Set up your 14 day trial. The link is in the description. Um, and, that, and here's another thing, man. 14 day trial, after that it's $99 a month for all this stuff, dude. Most of you guys are spending $99 a month just for landing pages with ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is, a, is the most popular one. Um, if you're a real estate agent, you guys got all kinds of other random monthly fees that you guys are paying for. I'm telling you, man, as, and, and I've seen some complicated, complex softwares that brokers give their real estate agents for internet marketing. I'm telling you, a lot of it is confusing. So at the end of the day, Facebook ad to a landing page is all we need like all the other bells and whistles are not even needed man the idx like all this other crap that 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 you're paying for is not even needed when it comes to marketing so 99 dollars a month after the 14-day trial is a freaking joke to run your entire online lead capture campaigns like it's an absolute joke um for all the stuff that that comes with it not only after you import this and you, you click on my link, obviously, profit with online. set up your 14 day trial. And then after you import this, drop me a comment, send me a message, hit me up on Facebook, whatever. Let me know you set up your 14 day trial and I will literally walk you through this and help you get off to a fast start, no matter who you are. Okay. Whether you import these funnels or not. Um, if you sign up with my Kartra link, I give you my time for free. So not only do you have me to leverage, but we also have weekly calls. I'll drop that link in the description as well. We do a weekly call um, every Tuesday and Thursday, Kartra support. So these nerds, these freaking smart gurus jump on every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific, and they just give us a walkthrough. It's a Q&A. So for one hour, um, it's just questions and answers. You can jump on as a new Kartra user, or even if you're not even a user yet, you can still jump on, register for the call. They'll email you the link. Um, and it's a simple Q&A. Kartra support, they're on asking, you know, answering our questions. How do you create a landing page? How do you set up the form? How do you set up a membership course? How do you set up an email autoresponder? You can type in any random question and they will answer it in real time. Um, and that's every Tuesday and Thursday. So that support is insane. You don't get that support anywhere else, like at all, at all. Um, and then we also have a Facebook group with over 17,000 people. So you can go to Facebook, our group, Carter official group, and you can type in any random question and freaking 15,000 people will, will, will reply back with an answer. So 
as you set up your 14 day trial, okay, you're going to come in here. This is a brand new account. Um, shout out to Terry. Um, this is her account. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click on campaigns, my campaigns, and I'm going to import a campaign. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on available campaigns and I'm going to click import. So not only am I sharing funnels with this brand new Kartra user, again, who is my actual client, but Kartra already has a ton of done for you sales funnels, way more extensive than, than, than I, than, than what I even put together. Um, so many different funnels where you just come in here, man, and list builder sales campaign. You click on the three dots, you click on deploy and you have 24 assets. I can view the assets. You have, um, um, HTTP, you have 12 pages, right? You have 12 pages, three tags, the list, the products, the sequences, the automations, the form, the tracking links, all that is already done for you. Like for you to come in here and, and, and just create a whole new campaign with 24 different assets in it will take you a while, especially if you're brand new. Now where I'm at with, with Kartra, I can do that in my freaking sleep. But at the same time, why do I need to when the damn thing's already done for me? All I got to do is come in here and, 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 and deploy it myself or was it deploy? Yeah. Deploy it myself and boom, all that is instantly transferred to my account. Like that is so much, that's such a game changer and time saver for even advanced people like me. Um, why in the hell would I want to start from scratch when I can just grab the blueprint and then edit around that and, 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 and already have it done for me. So, so many different, this Frank Kern's book funnel, this is what I, I've been um, running my book off of is that exact blueprint. Um, and that's what brought me to Kartra back in July of 2018. I have a YouTube video on that. So go to my playlist, um, uh, my Kartra landing pages playlist. Um, I'm literally recording myself as I'm leaving ClickFunnels and coming over to Kartra and, and setting up my 14 day trial. I'm lit literally recording that. And it was this funnel that really pushed me and enticed me to want to set up a Karcher account because at that time I had a, a new book that I just, well, that I was about to release an ebook and I needed the best platform to market it. And so it was Frank Kern's book funnel that got me. And it was that first funnel that allowed me to set up my Karcher account fast and start monetizing my ebook, which it was a complete game changer. Cause without that, I would have been freaking stuck for sure. So there's all these different campaigns that you can already deploy and, and have in your account in seconds. And so when it comes to someone like me on the other end, sharing my funnels with a brand new user, here's how, the, how, how they're going to do it. So again, my campaigns, available campaigns, and then import. And all you got to do is import the share code, which you see right there in the description. So now let me go back and get my share code. So now inside of my system, I'm going to deploy this one right here. So I'm going to click share. And then this, this right here, please, our share campaign, please read carefully the following terms and conditions. The copyright, you are the original creator. So all this is, is Kartra covering their butt. Support you and not Kartra are responsible for making sure that your campaign configuration is complete and to provide support to all Kartra members you're sharing it with. So all this is, man, is, is you know, if for, for example, if you're actually sharing, if you're selling these funnels, not sharing. If you're selling these funnels, which you can easily sell for 500 plus, I totally believe I can, I could sell these damn funnels for 500 bucks minimum. No, no doubt about it. If I was, if I was selling them and that funnel was not complete and there were parts that were missing and that person who bought my funnel reaches out to Kartra and says, Hey man, what's wrong with this funnel? Kartra just doesn't want that liability. They don't, they don't want that responsibility. They don't want that phone call. I'm the one that put together the funnel. I'm the one who sold it to them. And so I'm the one who's responsible, which is not a big deal. It's all good, right? And then no spam. You're, you're, you're sharing this campaign only with people who actively request it. Okay, so that's super important right there. And then all I do is put yes and then um, hit the green one next. And then what I can do is I can share with a specific Kartra user. So this, in this case, this client is a Kartra user already, so I can easily go that route. But what I do is I normally just generate share code and, and you'll see it right here. So this is the share code. 
you'll see this in the description. Again, this is if you're a real estate agent, you know, this is, and this specific one is for a listing. So that's this one right here. So if you have a listing and, and, and rather than taking that listing and splatting it against the wall, rather than throwing spaghetti against the wall, AKA posting it all over social media to see what sticks rather than doing that, when 99% of your following live across the country, 99% of the LinkedIn connections, 99% of the followers on Instagram, 99% of your friends on your personal Facebook page, 99% of the likes that you have on your Facebook business page, 99% of all these people that are following you, even if you're building a YouTube channel like mine, I have a couple thousand subscribers, 99% of you guys live across the country, even around the world. So if I'm a local business owner, a real estate agent, for example, you got to stop thinking you're going to post your listing all over social media and someone's going to buy. Yeah, right, dude. If you're building your business that way, good luck. And if that's netting you a couple of deals, good luck. But it ain't a couple of deals a week. It's not a couple of deals a month. If anything, that type of marketing may be netting you a couple of deals a year. This right here is for people that are looking to be the 1%. I'm only sharing this with the 1%, top producers, people that say, you know what, David, the hell with social media. I'm going to focus on just my backyard. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to run Facebook ads. I'm going to target my local area. I'm going to drive that click to a landing page, and I'm going to capture a lead. Those are the folks that I'm looking for, right? That's the top, top 1%. And that doesn't just apply to real estate agents. That's every business owner in the freaking country. Any local business owner, you better be running ads and you better be targeting your local area and you better be driving it to a landing page. Bottom line, there ain't nothing else to it, man. Um, and so in this case, this is the funnel that I'm going to share. Um, so there's the share code. I'm going to grab that share code. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to click import. Oh, actually, I already did. And then there's the share code right there. So I'm going to click next. And then this is just telling the user um, what's coming along with it. You are about to um, import the campaign listing funnel. And the following assets will be created in your account. So I'm giving the, 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 the new user, I'm giving my client three pages, two forms, a list, a sequence, and a calendar. And just to explain this to you again, watch yesterday's video. You'll see it come, in, come up at the end or the link is in the description. But just to really explain what, what these assets are, three pages, the opt-in page, which is the landing page, the thank you page. And then the third page is the confirmation page after the person schedules an appointment. So on the thank you page, we have a, a button to get that person to schedule an appointment. When they schedule an appointment, they're then taken to a, another page. That is a, a confirmation page. Thank you for scheduling, right? That's the third page that I'm including. The forms is number one, the opt-in form, right when they go to the landing page, there's the opt-in form. And then the second form is for the calendar. So as they go and schedule an appointment, that is a separate form. And that is the second form that I'm including. The list is the actual list that, you know what? Let me, um, let me, I forgot to add a list. So this list is as they opt in, they're on a list. But what, what now, now that I'm seeing this, it's only showing one. I forgot to add one list. I want to also include a list of those who scheduled an appointment. That's a separate list. So as people opt in, that's one list. But what if a handful of those people schedule an appointment? That's another list. And I'm going to include that, which I didn't do right here. The sequence is the email autoresponder. So as they, um, let me go back to it. As they come over here, this is regarding a property, regarding a listing. As they come in here and they opt in and they want more information regarding that listing, automatically an email is going to go out. But what about tomorrow? There better be another email. What about the following day? There better be another email. And that is the sequence. So I'm including that sequence. That's number one. That's right here, the sequence. And then, of course, the calendar. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me cancel that real quick. And I'm going to come back over here to my account. If I want to add anything, which I do, all I do is click on the three buttons. I'm going to click on edit, edit, and I'm going to add that second list, which I forgot to do. And I'm glad I caught that right now so I can, you know, obviously show you guys how I do it. So now this is my account. I'm going to come back in and, and I'm going to, I'm going to, um, add another asset. So here's all the assets I'm, I'm, I'm including. What I want to do is I want to come back over here to list, okay? Hit list. 
So that's the list that I, that I have included. But what I want to do is I want to add another list, which I have set up. Um, and it is, um, it is this one right here. So that list, that is when they go and schedule an appointment. Okay. Now, again, once that person, <clears throat> once Terry, for example, the person I'm sharing the code with, once they import it, which I'm going to show you, I can then edit these titles. So all this stuff can be edited once it's imported into your account. Okay. So that right there is a game changer. I want to include that. Save and next, save and next. And then you know what I want to do? I'm going to show you guys how I just do it again. Let me just do it one more time because I know now. See, so now it goes to nine assets. Let me go back to this one. And let me add that list as well to this one. And now, and then I'm going to do it for the other three, but I won't waste your guys' time. But this is how you can easily edit and add more stuff, or I could take off stuff, right? But um, I want to definitely add it. So list, here it is right here. So that's the only list that I had included initially. Let me go back and, and add, add that other list. It's this one right here. Bam. Add that. And then save. And now again, man, once my client gets it, they're going to be like, holy crap, this stuff is powerful. David included all this stuff for me. I'm going to keep it. And, you know, let me just do it while I'm here, man, because I'm going to end up forgetting. And again, man, this stuff just brings more value to the, to the, to the client, you guys. And that's why I highly encourage you stick to one niche. Go out there, create a bunch of funnels around that niche, and then give it to them as you bring on new clients. And I'm telling you, they will stick with you um, for the long term, especially if you're managing it and, 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 and setting all this stuff up, stuff up for them, which is what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing all that right, right here in front of you guys. So it's this one right here. Got that. Save. Save and next. Save and next. And now all of them will have nine assets. So let's come back to this one. Because again, the landing page, they opt in for whatever the heck they were promoting. Open house, listing, buyer guide, seller guide. But as they go to the thank you page, thank you for opting in, right? The thank you page. That's when we want to try to get them to book an appointment. And so that appointment, they go on a different list. And that's this list right here that I'm including. Okay, so, bam. Okay, got that. Save and next. And even after I already share the code, I can easily come back over here and, and add more stuff to it. Um, but I want to do it before, right? I want to definitely do it before, before I share it. Yeah, that's what you want to do for sure. Don't do not do this later after you already shared it. Because if I already shared it and I import it, if I, if I would have clicked the button and, and imported it into Terry's, but then after it came over here and added another asset, I don't think she would have got that asset now that I really think about it. But I could be wrong. But no matter what, do it, do it before you share. And that's what I'm doing here. So, um, bam. Cool, man. So that's that. I'm glad I caught that because that's a that's a, an important list that we want to you know segment. So nine 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 nine. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is let's come back over here. Let's click share. And just in case, let's just grab it again. Generate a share code. There's the share code. Let's come back over here now and let's hit my campaigns. Let's do all this again so we can refresh it. Available campaigns. And then I'm going to hit import. And then let's see if it now says nine. So hit next. Bam. Okay, so now we're at nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bam. So now those are the two lists. Um, that we just, um, that I added the, the extra list that I added. So now we have two. Okay. So begin import. Okay. So campaign successfully imported. Um, you may now deploy the campaign whenever you want as many times as you want. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit close. And now there it is there. So now I'm in, in, in Terry's account, um, that 
campaign is now there. I'm going to click the three dots and I'm going to click deploy. So first I imported it. Then I have to deploy it to make it all active. Okay. So I'm going to hit deploy and then I'm going to name this, the, the prefix. This is just, um, let's just, let's just, um, Mm, prefix I can just put um, let's go uh, campaign name I'll leave that and I'll put um, shared let's go this prefix I don't like this why in the hell do they put us a free and, and you can always do edit this but um, every time you deploy a campaign a number of assets will be created in your account in order to keep each campaign assets organized, you need to add a unique prefix, which would help you remember which campaign a particular asset belongs to. Okay, so I'll just put um, ED for inspired digital. Okay, so import, deploying assets, bam. And let's, let's, let's uh, listen to this real quick. Congratulations, the campaign has been successfully deployed. Please note that a few new assets have been created in your account, and you might need to tweak them before they are ready to use. In the right edge of your browser, you will see a new tab with all of the steps you need to follow. Please go over them one by one, and you will be done before you know it. Perfect. So now, now if I come over here and click on, well, first of all, if I refresh this, okay, so now new, and then I, I can click on my campaigns. And that's ED listening funnel. So that that right there is is now inside of Terry's new account. Okay, so if I go look at each asset, so look, my communications, she'll have the list. Bam, there's the two lists that came over, the uh, buyer seller appointments. So her anyone who's who schedules an appointment will go to that list, and she can easily edit the name of that. So she could take out. In fact, I could take that out now. Take out the ED, and then click on edit. Bam, and then I can take out the ED of this one and then click on edit, bam. So that's the list, right? And then the sequence, here's the sequence. So anyone that opts into that listing, right? They get an email right away. And then over the next few days, they're gonna get even more emails. And that's what you can easily customize and set up. So you can have an email go out every day. You can have an email go out every other day. However, whenever, um, that is the drip system. And I'm telling you, as complicated as these other platforms are, this is all we need, man, at a, at a, at a hundred bucks a month. I don't know where you're going to get any of this stuff at, um, especially with a 14-day trial. So there's the sequence that came over. And then we click on my pages. Here are the three pages that came over. The opt-in page, the thank you page, and then the thank you for scheduling page after they scheduled an appointment. The forms that came over, there's two of them. Um, here's for the listing for the actual opt-in page. And then here is for the calendar. And then what else I brought over? I brought over a calendar. So here's the calendar. Okay. So all they got to do is, is configure the calendar, um, set up the time, set up, you know, the freaking form and all that stuff. So, um, that is a, a simple configuration and that is it you guys. So that right there, now Terry has a brand new funnel for a listing, which she can come in, click on the three dots, edit, edit out the image, edit out the colors, edit out freaking edit out, edit the, the text, whatever. But that's how you import a sales funnel, you guys. And that's how I do it for my new clients. So shout out to Terry, shout out to every single one of you who are actually setting up a 14 day trial profit with online. Um, if this funnel, you know, is good for you, if you're an agent, for example, there's the share code right below. Um, this is for a listing. But if you're not a real estate agent, if you're any other type of business owner or whatever, Set up your 14 day trial, profitwithkartra.online. Um, reach out to me, comment below, let me know you set yours up, and I will personally give you my time. We'll set up a strategy call where we can jump on screen share and I can help you get off to a fast start. All right, guys, so over and out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.